Commander. There's an office available next to the window, if you'd like. Oh, that seems perfect. Welcome, madam. Follow me, please. Entity, let's get to work. Adam, you have 11 potential meetings proposed for this week. Okay, Entity, I'm gonna have to deal with those one by one, yes? You also have a deadline for five different projects. And don't forget, you have to organize the talks for 18 new customers. In addition, the Bilib Agency sales representative has just arrived. What? He is waiting to see you. He's already here? Look, you have just received a message from one of our top clients. Hello, Adam. Remember we arranged to play a squash the next time I was in town? Well, I'm here today. Entity, this is too much. I, I think I, I need to prioritize, delegate, defer some of the tasks that can be automated. Can you help me with this? Of of course, Adam. Please authorize the download of my Intelligent Automation plugin for business. Right now, I am labeling all the tasks based on priority. I have also been in touch with your customer's own virtual assistants to reschedule the appointments. Oh, and I have ordered you a squash kit. By the way, would you like a coffee? Entity, is that you? Yes, Adam. Some of my logic has been semantically linked to this physical robot so that physical interactions can happen. I am also talking to the representative from the Bilib Agency. <sighs> you know, Entity, I think I've learned something today. Prioritization and intelligent automation not only save time, they also increase productivity. Wish me luck! There's been a promise for a long time of change, that in fact AI or intelligence or this stuff would change our lives. There's been a promise, but it hasn't quite been there. It's been pieces of information. All of a sudden that promise is becoming reality and that's why it's so different than before. Welcome, madam. Follow me, please. What are those things that we're doing routinely, every day, day in, day out, that really could be done by, let's call it a digital colleague. Someone who emulates my ability, but is doing it in an automated fashion. This frees me up probably 30, 40% of my time to be able to do things that elevate my role. Businesses are coming to grips with the realization that finding the cheapest labor is no more that priority. Rather, it is finding the most skilled labor. When we talk to our customers, the key to us is how you have sustainable automation. Clients are moving from working with their partners like an NTT data to deliver, in effect, people and projects to outcomes and solutions. So what NTT data is doing is moving to points where I would have actually the automation as a service, the solutions and outputs with a customer value, not just the traditional model of offshore people doing the work for them. I think I... I need to prioritize, delegate, defer some of the tasks that can be automated. Can you help me with this? Of course, Adam. Should I be fearful of artificial intelligence? No. I should be embracing it to see how it can augment what I can do in my business. Right now, I am labeling all the tasks based on priority. I have also been in touch with your customer's own virtual assistants to reschedule the appointments. Successful automation deployment uh, will certainly allow companies to improve their productivity, reduce costs, improve governance, and increase reliability. How do I augment my people 
extending my image of my company to an end user? And then more importantly, how do I also do it for my own employees? Getting these people with those intelligent skills embedded into our companies, we never want to lose them.